Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is April 24th and Samsung just launched today a brand new version. They basically relaunched the Galaxy Enhance X application. Now this one is now in beta form. It uses a little bit of AI technology to help enhance and edit some of your photos. Now this one has been out from before. There was a lot of bugs and it had a lot of crashes, but they wanted to add it back in. I guess they put it back in beta. They're testing it out. They fixed it. So where you're able to get this one downloaded is inside of the Galaxy Store. Now, once you get inside the Galaxy Store, underneath your apps, you just want to hit on the search button and you can start searching for Galaxy Enhance X. Now, once you find it right here, you go to download, get it installed. And so now once you open it, it'll kind of give you a little bit of details of what the application is able to do. So, you know, right off the get go, it's going to show you all the different tools, brightness, fix, blur, sharpen. Uh, and so this is just a little tutorial at the very beginning. I already went through this. I tested it with a few different photos. Uh, so I wanted to delete it, reinstall it to show you from the get go. So you could try a bunch of a variety of AI tools. I believe they really kind of wanted to use this word because AI is a pretty big, you know, word today. So enhance your photos with cutting edge AI. You can remove, uh, remove blur, bring blurry photos back into focus you can slide this little slide to see where it was and where it can go to uh, same thing here so this is just kind of showing you what it can do so this is probably maybe the hdr effect uh, moving over here so here's another one that's really hdr so they're kind of just bringing in more colors you know sometimes what will happen with some of these applications or some of the other editing the photo editing stuff that's on samsung phones sometimes they kind of brighten it too much uh, but this one's showing you a really good example. I don't have an example like this one in my gallery because I usually try to avoid this, but here you can see all of these shadows that must be coming from some blinds or maybe a metal bar. And so right here you can see, um, you know, what it looks like when you take off all of those little shadows. So all you'd have to do is it's going to take you inside of the all access or all files access. You basically turn on the Galaxy Enhance X. This is just giving it the ability to get into basically your gallery for you to edit the photos. Uh, and then you just select a photo to edit. So the nice thing about it is that every single time that you open up this Galaxy X or this Galaxy Enhance X application, it's going to open up and it's going to go well, once you allow this once, it's going to go right to the screen. There's nothing else inside of here. And what will happen is when you actually select and edit a photo, what's going to happen is that it'll actually save both of them. So it'll keep the original and then also save what you just got done doing. So these were five different photos that I just wanted to show you a few examples. Uh, and we're just going to head right into it. So first off, when you open this up, here's the different icons. So if you have an S Pen, it'll actually tell you what they are. Other than that, you have to guess what they are. And some of these do make sense. So you can add a new image to take a, you know, to edit. Uh, this one is transformed. So if you'd like to kind of crop it up, here's your share button. Here is your save button. Uh, and then up here you can share the app or about the app. And I guess they're going to keep on adding more in because this is brand new. This is still now in beta with this version here. I do know that it works with the Galaxy A, S, and Z series phones. If you own the Galaxy S series devices, it's starting with the Galaxy S21 and after. So if you have some of the older Samsung phones, this application might not work for you. And I do want to give a big thank you to some of those in my Discord group who brought this application back to my attention because I knew it was there, it was gone, and here it is, it came back. So right here, this one's kind of a magic button. This is going to go through, try to see what it could do to enhance it. Uh, so just telling you all these different things, adding magic, perfecting the pixels, enhancing it. So this kind of brought in a little bit more light. Now, uh, when it comes down to the magic right here, so this is pretty much the after, this is the before. Now, what'll happen is if you don't like it, you can always go back. Now, when you go to magic, you can't really do any type of changes with the intensity. So for example, let's say you do brighten or HDR or sharpen, or even inside of more, this is where you have uh, you know, portrait. So if it noticed that there was something that you can make into a portrait, like if there's a face, this one, you can even edit the face, make, you know, maybe the, the cheekbones a little bit more firm, uh, make your eyes a little bit bigger, smaller, remove reflections, remove shadows. Uh, but let's just do HDR. I want to show you what I'm talking about with this right here. This is the intensity on the very bottom. So you, this is where it was from beforehand. 
this is where it was with intensity one. Here it is with intensity two. Now, you know, you might think that maybe this is just a little bit too bright or maybe it's perfect. I mean, honestly, when it comes down from the original down to this one right here, you know, uh, you can see a lot more of the colors. Now, this one's going to be just too kind of overexposed, maybe too bright. It kind of takes away from the fact that it was pretty dark out. You know, here's just one. And now this one could be perfect as well, too. Now, there is one thing I do want to try that I haven't tried yet. I'm going to see if it works in portrait mode. So it looks as if we don't have portrait mode support yet. Hopefully they'll add that in the future. And so let's say that you maybe like this one right here. When you hit on this little check mark, uh, that just means that you you accepted that one. You can go through and you can select more if you want, or just go straight ahead, download. You can download it in its original resolution, which is right here, the 1040 by 484. Now this one was taken by my dad just last night. It was sent to me in a text message. That's why it's not so big. But if you were to take it with your own camera, it's going to be a much bigger you know, file. So now all you have to do is when you go back inside of your gallery, you just want to find wherever that little album is. And here it is, Galaxy Enhance X. All of your images are going to be stored right here. So this way you'll have this copy, but you're also going to have the original copy that you have right here. So that's the first example of the first photo. Now, I do want to go back inside of basically the Galaxy Store because I want to kind of show you a little bit of what it says inside of here because I completely skipped it. I went directly inside of the first photo to kind of show you what you can do. So with this, down here, you can read, you know, some of the reviews. The reviews isn't perfect just yet. Again, this is still beta updated or basically released right here, April 24th. Here's the description. The Galaxy Enhance X app is a one-stop AI solution for all media enhancements with a single tap. Your images analyzed for imperfections, enhanced and refined to a higher quality. So I'm really hoping that they really get this going inside of this beta, make it so much better than what it is right now, and then maybe release it a part of the gallery with the next devices, either the brand new, you know, Z devices, the flips and the folds, or next year's Galaxy S24. You know, put this inside of the edit button inside the gallery. I'd love to see that. And you can just kind of read a whole bunch right here. It just says, you know, both original and the enhanced photo is saved in the gallery in JPEG format. And as you scroll down, it just kind of gives you a little bit of the access permissions. Again, basically just kind of making sure that you can get into, you know, the uh, the gallery to take your pictures. So this one is basically done. Now we're just going to head right on back. I'm going to go back down to this little edit folder. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to show you what you can do with a face. So this one, you know, you can hit on this little magic button. Sometimes it works and sometimes it really doesn't do anything. Maybe the photo is looking pretty good the way it is already. This one brighten. Obviously, you don't have to brighten it. There's no blur that's happening. I can sharpen if I want. Uh, but what I do want to do is show you in terms of portrait, what you can do is now you can change again after the fact you took the photo, you can put in how much intensity of how much of a portrait mode you kind of want to have on. So here's the before, then here's the after. Really what you want to look at is you see the handle on the top right hand side, right up over here, you can see how much blur is being added in. Now, the other thing you want to make sure, you know, you can also see back here with that back window, it's adding in a lot more blur. So it's really kind of just making me pop out. Uh, the only thing is that you want to also take a very close look at what it's doing to the skin. You can change that later on as well. And you want to take a look at the hair. So, you know, beforehand, there was a little bit of hairs that was kind of out of focus from what the normal camera did. I kind of like this because it kind of almost hid some of those other ones and it made the rest of it look good. What you can do in these photos is you can actually scroll in and then you can get a closer look at exactly what it is doing. So again, I'm looking at the very top of my head, you know, at those hairs on exactly what it's doing. And, you know, it's very nice. You can zoom in, zoom out. You have all these options here of all these different blurs. So it just kind of depends on how you want it to look. Most people would like it to kind of stay normal uh, because all the rest just kind of almost does too much. So you can kind of see that there's a lot of waves and such. Now, the only thing that I am noticing because I have you know, my gestures turned on. If I get too close to the edge, it's going to think that I want to go back. So yeah, just go through, edit. This one I wanted to show off with this whole portrait situation here. Uh, now, the next thing I want to show you is what you can do with, let's say, the face. So right now you can change the smoothness of the face of, you know, how much more smooth you want it to look. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. This right here, you can change the tone. So if you want to bring, you know, some of that tone back, you can, you know, 
bring it on back, put it on down, whatever, wherever you need to put it. Now, I don't really care about the tone. This one's kind of funny here. So this is where I can change my jawline. So take a look at my jawline right here. You can see that it kind of moved in a little bit. I'm going to accentuate this so you can really see what it's doing as well. So here's the before, here's the after, before, after you see how the cheek, you know, kind of went in. Same thing over here. It's kind of more rounded than it went in. Look at this is me before. Look at that beast after. <laughs> so obviously, I guess if you have a better jawline, uh, that's kind of what it looks like. Now, there's another thing that I do want to show you, and that's going to be with the eyes. So the eyes is actually pretty funny. So let's say that I bring this up. What you're going to see and notice is that my eye over here, which is the one that you know we're showing right now, and also the eye over there, it's getting bigger. So if I was to make this bigger, zoom in, I'm going to show you exactly what it's doing. So here's before, after. So you see how it kind of gets a little bit larger? Same thing over here, smaller, larger, smaller, larger, smaller, larger. So pretty fun that you can kind of just go around uh, catfish people. So I'm just going to go through. Uh, I'm going to hit on this little save button just to show you that it is able to save the original. So here's the 3000 by 4000, hit on save. And so now that is now saved over inside of, you know, the, uh, the folder that we just got done looking at. So let's go through. Let's take a look at a few more edit. We're going to take a look at maybe this doggy up over here. So if we want, we can do magic. So we're going to see what magic does this time. Sometimes it does a great job. Sometimes it does absolutely nothing. But again, we are inside of beta. So let's see what magic had applied. So to me right now, it's really kind of making some of the background a little bit more focused. So look up over there at the light. So here's the before. Here's after. Now look at this little Amazon or the uh, the Echo Show over here. So not in focus, a little bit more focused. So if we take a little bit, you know, closer look at the doggo, let's see what happens. You know exactly what is going on here. So I'm not seeing a massive difference. Uh, it kind of, in terms of magic, it wanted to kind of make the background a little bit more, you know, a little bit more showy, a little bit more, you know, visible. So you can go through this one right here. This is HDR. So this is the before and here's after all it really did is kind of brighten it up a little bit now you can choose where it is best for you you can choose if it's best beforehand or after so here's the intensity here's number four so a lot of times with this one it just really brightens it up so i don't really care about that it just kind of blown out to me you know we could do a little bit of hdr but that's pretty much about it you can kind of see the background got a little bit more brighter but i do kind of like the depth that this has already given for my original photo now if there was blur it'll fix it as of right now it's going to fix the background you can also sharpen it as well remove reflections and shadows but there's really none there for it so i'm going to leave the for the photo the way it is because you know i thought it was the best uh here's one i guess we'll we'll, we'll kind of do uh this one we will go for shadow so with this one, it's a little funny because I played with this one beforehand. So what it'll do is it's going to take away a little bit of the shadow on his shirt, like right underneath where his neck is. <laughs> it kind of takes it away. And then with me, same thing. So bam, I basically lost some of my suntan underneath the, the neck area, underneath the chin area. But hey, this is what it's able to do. It found some shadows and it was able to take it away. So if you like this image better, you can just hit on save, or if you like this one better, you can just leave it the way it is. I thought that this was pretty cool, a really good before and after of what it can do with a real life scenario photo, you know, when it comes down over into, you know, the shadows. So I'm gonna bring this right on over. If this is the photo that I wanna keep, I hit on this one. Here's the original, 3968 by 2232. Uh, so if I was to go right back over inside of, let's say the gallery, now on the very bottom, this is my little, you know, galaxy enhanced. So you can take a look at what they look like after the fact. So these are the ones that we just got done doing. And then there is actually one last photo that I want to take a look at. And with this one, I believe with this one, I was going to maybe do fix the blur. See if it'll actually kind of help because it is a little blurry. This one was originally a video, but I took a picture from it. So you can definitely see with the light bulb in the back, it helped. You can see with this person in the background, they kind of came about. And then uh, even especially with his hair as well. So his face is actually a little blurry. And then this does fix it a little bit. So as you go through, you can kind of see, um, 
you know, some of the fixes. Again, find whatever you like the most, hit a little check mark, and then it did it for you. Anytime you don't like it, you can hit on the back button. You can even hit on HDR. It'll probably make it a little bit more brighter. You can even sharpen it as well. Sometimes this makes you either brighter or darker when it comes down to the HDR. And, uh, you know, it, it's pretty fun. This, this application is not perfect. There is a lot of stuff that they need to do. So here's the after. Ooh, this just adds more color, really. So here's the before. It kind of looks washed and faded. The after looks so much better, especially right back here with these colors as well. So if this is the you know the, the something that you like, you hit a little check mark, hit on a little save button. Here's the original, and now it's saved inside your gallery. So I believe this is the best representation that I can show you. These are real life photos. They're not the made up stock ones with shadows put into it. They're not like the actual meant to be blurred photos that you can then fix later. These are just real photos in the gallery that I wanted to show you, you know, with all these different tools. So you have HDR, brighten, fix blur, sharpen, the magic button, which really doesn't do too much. Inside of here, you got the fix more year, whatever that is, uh, remove reflection, remove shadows, fix lens distortion, especially maybe if you've done the ultra wide and it kind of looks weird on the sides, it'll fix it. You also have portrait, so this way if you have a picture that was not already in portrait, you can make it portrait and then make it blurry in the background and then you can change the face, which I've shown you, you know, the, the smoothness of the face, the size of the eyes, the jawline. So this is pretty good for where it is right now in the beta version, just launched today. It's basically a relaunch. Uh, and so far, no crashes, no issues, but there is a lot of things that they need to make better and improve. Now, if it really is AI, you know, kind of intuitive, then I'm hoping that, you know, within the Galaxy Store, maybe we're going to find another update when it comes down to this one. Here's that Galaxy Enhance X. Let's read a little bit more about it. So in here, if they were able to keep on updating and fixing you know, uh, this application here, I think we're going to be good. You know, if they're using AI based techniques to be invoked by a user to both repair and enhance the images stored in the gallery, blah, 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 blah. Then it can only get better from here. If it is again, you know, something that is a very nice tech such as AI. So I have high hopes for this one to get better than where it is right now, but there is a lot of work. You can really tell that right now with some of these reviews now, because it's brand new from today, you might see, you know, one, two, three, and four. There's no fives yet. And this one, like this could be one review, two review, run one review, two. So we might only have two, three, four, five, six. There might only be six people that reviewed this. So don't let this number really get to you um, because it's not above 10. It's not above 50. It's not above 100. I can guarantee you this is not many downloads for this application. Literally just popped out today. And, uh, I mean, I guess we'll see where it goes from here. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.